For units of volume, I'm going to go over surface area as well as my volume, um, just to kind of make sure that you guys understand how to do both. So, and you want to make sure that what you're looking at, everything is in the same units. So this is in centimeters, that means I'm going to put my answer in the centimeters spot. To get the inches spot, I'm going to have to convert. Okay, so always make sure to check your units. If it's in centimeters, put it in the centimeters. If it's in inches, then I'd have to put the answer in inches and then convert to centimeters. So to find surface area of this box, I um, do the normal thing. I find the area of all the faces. So I've done that here. Um, I have to multiply each face by 2 because there's 2 of each face. So I get 15 times 4 times 2, which is 120. And then I get 15 times 7 times 2, which is 210. And then 4 times 7 is 28, times 2 is 56. Oops. So then I add those values together. So I have 210 plus 120 plus 56, which is 386 centimeters squared. Now remember, if I was to convert all these units right now to inches, I'd have to divide each one by 2.54 right? I have to divide each one. So instead of doing that before, we're doing it after, okay? So afterwards, when I'm doing the, the, the conversion from centimeters squared to inches squared, I know inches, there's going to be less inches than centimeters, so I'm going to divide. And it's going to be 2.54, but this time it's going to be 2.54 squared because my, uh, my area is in square units. So I have to also square my conversion factor. Okay, so instead of doing the conversion before, this is how you do it after. You could do it before, then you wouldn't have to worry about this at all. So what I do is I take my 386, and I divide by, bracket, 2.54 squared, which is 59.83. Okay, the volume conversion is, I mean, for, for the volume is a little easier, because I just multiply the 15, 7, and 4. And then when I'm converting this to inches cubed, this is centimeters cubed to inches cubed, I have to divide by 2.54 cubed. Okay, again, I could have converted all my units first. That would be have to be divided by 2.54. That would be divided by 2.54. So see, I would be dividing by 2.54 three times and then multiplying them all together. So instead of dividing by it three times, I'm dividing by it that cubed, which is essentially the same thing. Okay, so instead of doing it before, I'm doing it after. So I take my 420, I divide by bracket 2.54 cubed this time, because I'm dealing with cubic units, which is 25.63 inches cubed. Okay, so that's the volume conversion, that's the area conversion. If you can just kind of remember that your conversion factor will have the same exponent as your units. Let's do one more here. So here I have a sphere. I got the surface area and volume of a sphere written right there. So for the surface area, I have a radius of 2 feet. So I get 2 squared, which is 4, times, remember I'm doing my order of operations, exponents first times pi, and then times by 4. So I get 50.27. Now, again, I have to convert this to inches squared. Inches, there's going to be more of them, so I know I'm multiplying, and the conversion from feet and inches is 12. Okay, Feet and inches is 12. And am I 12 or 12 squared? 12 squared because it has to match the um, exponent on the unit. So I have 50... 0.27 times 12 squared, which is 144, so I get 7238.23. 7238.23 if I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth, and that would be in inches squared. For volume, same kind of deal here. So I have the radius of 2 cubed, which is 8, times by pi, times by 4, divided by 3, which is 33.51. This time I'm converting to inches cubed from feet cubed, so I multiply by 12 
cubed. So I take that answer there, I multiply by bracket 12 cubed, and I get 57905. 0.84 inches cubed. So hopefully that'll help you uh, understand how to convert from square and cubic units into different units of measurement. Hopefully that will help you. Thank you.